The Krakatoa Eruption of 1883 a detailed analysis of its correlation with the sixth seal and the beginning of the day of the Lord according to T.R. Ross's Third Testament. Introduction. The eruption of Krakatoa in 1883 stands as one of the most significant natural disasters in recorded history, impacting global climates and ecosystems. T.R. Ross's Third Testament offers a novel interpretation of apocalyptic prophecy, suggesting that the sixth seal marks the beginning of the day of the Lord a period of profound divine and cosmic upheaval extending beyond one year. This essay explores the eruption's correlation with Ross's description of the sixth seal, drawing on scriptural references and analyzing the historical and theological implications. The Krakatoa Eruption of 1883 Initial Eruption On August 26-27, 1883, Krakatoa, a volcanic island situated in the Sunda Strait between Java and Sumatra, erupted catastrophically. The eruption began with a series of explosive events, culminating in the violent expulsion of volcanic ash, pumice, and gases. This violent series of explosions was followed by a massive caldera collapse, which produced some of the largest tsunamis ever recorded. The immediate aftermath saw the destruction of nearby coastal settlements and widespread loss of life. Historical accounts describe the eruption as being so powerful that it was heard thousands of miles away, and it released enormous quantities of volcanic material into the atmosphere. Tsunamis and Environmental Impact The eruption generated tsunamis that reached as far as the coast of Africa, with waves up to 40 meters, 131 feet, high devastating coastal communities. The volcanic ash and gases ejected into the atmosphere caused a dramatic cooling of the Earth's surface. This led to significant climatic changes, including the year without a summer in 1884, marked by unusually cool temperatures and widespread crop failures. The eruption's effects persisted for years, causing long-term environmental disruption and contributing to changes in weather patterns globally. The Sixth Seal in TR Ross's Third Testament Description of the Sixth Seal in TR Ross's Third Testament the sixth seal is depicted as a cataclysmic event characterized by a series of dramatic cosmic and natural disturbances. Ross describes this seal as involving cosmic disturbances. The sixth seal is associated with large-scale cosmic phenomena, including earthquakes, darkening of celestial bodies, and atmospheric anomalies. Spiritual revelations. The seal signifies the commencement of the day of the Lord, a period of intense spiritual and divine activity, during which humanity experiences profound revelations and judgments. Ross's text suggests that these disturbances signal a transformative phase in human history, marking the beginning of a new epoch defined by divine intervention and spiritual awakening. Scriptural Correlations To understand Ross's depiction, it is essential to compare his interpretation with scriptural references. Canonical Texts Revelation 6 verses 12 to 17. This passage describes the opening of the sixth seal, which includes a great earthquake, the sun becoming black as sackcloth, the moon turning red as blood, and stars falling from the sky. The imagery used in this text aligns with Ross's description of cosmic disturbances. Matthew 24 verse 29. Jesus speaks of cosmic signs, including the darkening of the sun and the falling of stars as preceding the end times. This passage supports Ross's interpretation of celestial phenomena associated with the sixth seal. Joel 2 verses 30 to 31. The prophet Joel speaks of signs and wonders in the heavens and on the earth before the great and terrible day of the Lord. This description resonates with Ross's view of the sixth seal as a precursor to the day of the Lord. Non-canonical texts. The Book of Enoch. This text describes apocalyptic visions involving cosmic upheaval and divine judgment. The imagery of celestial disturbances and divine intervention in Enoch parallels Ross's portrayal of the sixth seal. The Apocalypse of Baruch This work includes apocalyptic visions and discussions of divine judgment, providing additional context for understanding the themes present in Ross's interpretation of the sixth seal. Correlating Krakatoa with the sixth seal. Cosmic and Natural Phenomena the Krakatoa eruption's effects align with several elements described in Ross's interpretation of the sixth seal. Cosmic disturbances. 
The eruption caused atmospheric disturbances that led to a significant drop in global temperatures and vivid sunsets, resembling the celestial anomalies described in Revelation 6 verse 12. The widespread atmospheric impact and unusual weather patterns can be seen as fulfilling the apocalyptic imagery of cosmic upheaval. Seismic activity. The eruption generated massive seismic activity and tsunamis, which correlate with the great earthquake mentioned in both Revelation 6 verse 12 and Ross's description of the sixth seal. Timing and duration. Ross's third testament indicates that the sixth seal marks the beginning of the day of the Lord a period extending beyond one year. The Krakatoa eruption and its aftermath fit this timeline in several ways. Immediate aftermath. The immediate environmental effects of the eruption, including the cooling of global temperatures and atmospheric disruptions, align with the onset of a transformative period. Long-term impact. The eruption's prolonged climatic effects, including the continued global temperature anomalies and altered weather patterns over the following years, support the notion of an extended apocalyptic period as described by Ross. Spiritual and theological implications. Aligning the Krakatoa eruption with the sixth seal has significant theological implications. Divine judgment and transformation. The eruption's impact on the natural world can be interpreted as a manifestation of divine judgment and transformation, aligning with Ross's view of the sixth seal as a harbinger of the day of the Lord. The global disruptions caused by Krakatoa could be seen as symbolic of divine intervention and the beginning of a new spiritual epoch. Prophetic Fulfillment The alignment of Krakatoa with the sixth seal provides a concrete example of how significant natural events might be integrated into prophetic frameworks, supporting the interpretation of such events as part of a larger divine plan. Implications for Modern Interpretation Influence on Contemporary Eschatology Interpreting the Krakatoa eruption as the sixth seal has implications for contemporary eschatological thought. Impact on prophetic understanding. This interpretation offers a tangible example of how natural disasters can be seen as fulfilling apocalyptic prophecies. It influences modern views on prophecy by providing a historical case study of how significant events might align with scriptural descriptions. Reception and Influence. The reception of this interpretation among religious and scholarly communities can shape current eschatological discussions and influence how future events are understood in the context of prophetic fulfillment. Critical Perspectives Presenting the Krakatoa eruption as the sixth seal invites various critical perspectives. Supportive views Proponents argue that the eruption's alignment with the sixth seal provides a compelling case for interpreting natural disasters within a prophetic framework. They point to the eruption's environmental and climatic effects as evidence of its apocalyptic significance. Dissenting Opinions Critics may challenge the correlation by questioning the validity of interpreting natural events through the lens of prophecy. They may argue that the alignment with the sixth seal is coincidental or that other explanations better account for the eruption's impact. Conclusion the eruption of Krakatoa in 1883 provides a fascinating case study for examining the correlation with TR. Ross's interpretation of the sixth seal and the day of the Lord. By comparing the eruption's effects with Ross's descriptions and scriptural references, we gain insights into how significant natural events might be integrated into apocalyptic frameworks. The alignment of Krakatoa with the sixth seal offers a compelling perspective on understanding divine prophecy and transformation in the context of modern eschatology. This analysis highlights the potential for natural disasters to be seen as manifestations of divine intervention and apocalyptic significance. You can read this dissertation and more at cochinthefight.shop.